So I just had a birthday. I'm 28 now. July 20th. I feel old. Yeah, I decided to use the Snapchat for the first time the other day, and I had to have a young person show me how. That's how I know I'm old. It was intimidating and scary. And when I reached the age section of the sign-up, the options were 12 to 17, 18 to 25, and 26 to dead. So, that didn't help much. Anyways, this is kind of my 10th anniversary on the outside, so I figured I'd tell the story of how I left the religion. I've alluded to it before in other videos, but this is a good opportunity for me to devote an entire video to it, because it's an important story. So, here we go. When I was 17, I was in high school, and I found the only Jehovah's Witness girl in my school. She wasn't a fantastic witness. She wasn't even baptized. But she did go to a kingdom hall sometimes, outside of my district. And her family was Jehovah's Witness, but they were all inactive, so they didn't go to meetings, they didn't go in service or any of that stuff. They just believed it. Anyways, that was the first crack in the wall. They couldn't disfellowship me because I was just dating a Jehovah's Witness girl. But she was unbaptized, so I was shunned by friends. Eventually, she ended up breaking up with me, and it crushed me. I had been working at Burger King, and I knew a few people from there, so I decided to go over to a friend's house from work one night. I tried my first cigarette. I had still been going to meetings at that point. So I was kind of spiraling down because I was so crushed by the breakup, and at this point the elders had found out about the cigarette because of some other Jehovah's Witnesses that went to school with me. They were feeding the elders information they heard from others at the school. Now before I go any further, let me just back up a little bit and tell you where I was living up to then. My dad had been physically abusive throughout my entire childhood, and CPS was in and out of my life from a very young age. I knew the CPS worker by name. When I turned 17, CPS showed up and drew the line. They said that if my mom didn't move out of the house with me, then they were putting me in foster care. The reason she hadn't left before that was because she was following biblical law. If she had divorced him, she would have faced repercussions by Jehovah's Witnesses. She would have been disfellowshipped. She could have separated from him, but she still would have been punished by being pre-shunned by the congregation. Anyways, my mom moved out when I was a couple of months into 17 years old. Back to what I was saying, the elders were trying to contact me to set up a judicial committee to disfellowship me for the cigarette thing. So at that point, I went straight downhill. There was this girl I had known from high school that had been interested in me since she met me a few years before. So I started hanging out with her at her house. Drinking a little bit, smoking cigarettes, whatever. On my 18th birthday, before I was officially disfellowshipped, my mom kicked me out. July 20th, 10 years ago. She told me I couldn't stay there anymore. I had nowhere to go. So I went to the girl's house who I had been hanging out with, climbed in her window, and lived in her bedroom for three weeks without her family knowing. I had nowhere else to go but on the street. I told some co-workers at Burger King what was going on, and one of them had a trailer up the road. He offered to be my roommate, so I paid him $150 a month out of my Burger King check to live with him, as long as I kept going to school. That was his condition. I moved in with him, and the girl came with me. I was going to high school and working full-time while living with this girl in a tiny trailer, in a tiny bedroom, in a tiny bed that was so tiny that my feet hung off the end. We barely fit on the bed together. It felt like I was constantly working. Finally, I didn't have the energy to go to school and work, so I had to drop out of high school so I could survive. At this point, I had no contact with childhood friends or family. The only person I knew was this girl. Nine months after all this went down, she and I got married. April 21st, 2008. And exactly nine months to the day, after we got married, my daughter was born, Alpha Force Zero, January 21st, 2009. Since then, my ex and I have been split up for about five, six years, but we're still on really good terms. I live a block away from her now, and her parents and grandparents have adopted me. They have become my family in place of the family that so brazenly abandoned me. And if there's one lesson I've learned through all of it, it's that unconditional love comes before everything. 
I will love Alpha Force Zero unconditionally, which is something that I didn't get until I was in my 20s. And it wasn't even from my family showing me the unconditional love. No, it was my family. It just wasn't my blood relatives. It was a very rough road. My whole life has been harsh and brutal, but I wouldn't trade any of it. Being kicked out like that was the best thing to ever happen to me. I know there are some people on my channel going through a very similar situation. I can tell you the best thing to happen to you is to leave the poison behind. The religion, the friends, the family members. I miss my best friend, who I've known since I was eight, but I wouldn't trade anything for being on the inside again. Not even my best friend. Good luck, and know that you aren't alone. Street.